Hi guys, Dan from KPS Digital Marketing here. Today I'm talking you through step by step how to create something called a Twitter lead generation card. Now this is a really, really cool, great way to gain leads directly through Twitter. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that is in one second. Let's get into the tutorial. So starting off, we're going to go to our Twitter profile and I'm just gonna show you exactly what a Twitter lead generation card is so that you can actually, before we get into this, you know what you're doing. And it really is a great function. I've created loads of these over the past few weeks and they're really, really helping me build my, um, my email list up. So this is it here. So what it is, is a, an image with a, a call to action. There you go, that's it. And it draws in the person's Twitter login details automatically. So if, if you've got something you want your subscribers to download or if you want them to sign up to your email list or you just want them to you know, go into your email funnel, then this is a great way to do it. And I've just showed you there, when someone clicks subscribe, it takes them to a subscriber page which I've created here with lots of free subscriber content, extra content for people who are subscribing to my website. But you don't have to do that, you can just get people to subscribe to an email list on MailChimp which I'll show you exactly how to do in a second. So first of all we're going to go to Twitter ads. Now if you haven't signed up for Twitter ads, you need to sign up but you don't need to pay anything. So then you go to creatives and then you click on cards and then we've got different cards here. We've got a lead generation card, a website card, an app card, but we're going to create a lead generation card. So first of all, we're going to, at the top, create a short subscription for the Twitter card, which is what I just showed you. So I'm going to create a card for my three-step Twitter formula, which people can download for free. So the title there is going to be download your three-step Twitter formula, and you'll see that pop up in a minute. Now we need to create an image 800 pixels by 200 pixels. And a great way to do this is to go on canva.com, a free graphic design tool, then click on use custom dimensions, and then enter 800 and then 200 pixels. And this will create an image the exactly the right size. Now you can, I've, I've done a tutorial on this before, but you can um, bring in different color backgrounds, you can bring in different images, different text, add whatever you want to add here to you know, describe to the to the reader what are they downloading. So I'm not actually going to create mine in here, but I'm just showing you that you can add text. You could say, you know, sign up to my email list. You know, you can say uh, download my free tutorial. Whatever you want to do here, create a really cool image that's going to grab people's attention. And don't include too much text because you don't want to, um, you know, confuse people. So I'm not actually going to do this, but you can create one on there and then download it. I've already created one, it's like a Blue Peter episode, here's one I made earlier. So this is the three step Twitter formula one I created earlier, which should load there, there you go. And then I am going to click add a call to action button. So my call to action is going to say download now because it's telling people what they're going to do. Now we need to create a privacy policy for our website, you may already have one. Um, but if you don't, it's really, really simple. You just go to this website here, freeprivacypolicy.com. I did this in about five minutes. and You just fill out a questionnaire and then it sends you a, a load of text that you can copy and paste to your website to um, create a privacy policy page. So I'll show you mine here. Here's mine, I literally copied and pasted this into my website. If you don't know how to do that, ask your web developer, but it's really simple if you're on WordPress. And then I just copy the link to that page in the privacy policy section there. Now I need to put a link here to the, the fallback page. So this is a page where people can go to once they've signed up. Um, there's, there's a little link at the bottom. I just do my home page there, just add your home page. And now we need to look at adding a destination URL. So this is the page which people go to once they've subscribed to your, or downloaded your link. So it could be a link to a download, or it could be a link to a page on your website saying, thank you for subscribing. And I've got a subscriber page there which people go to once they've downloaded, once they've you know downloaded the Twitter card. Now this is the, post submit message, when people actually click the call to action, this is what they see, so I say thanks for subscribing, you can add whatever you want there, thank you for downloading, thanks for clicking the link, or whatever you wanna say, add it there. Now this is where we go to MailChimp.com, now this is how we integrate our MailChimp. 
So we're going to log in here. It's really simple if you haven't got a Mailchimp account, Chimp account. It's really easy to log in. Now we're going to go to lists and we're going to create a separate list for this Twitter card. Card. So we are going to create list. Type in a list name. So I'm going to type in the three step Twitter formula download or Twitter card download. So I know that this list is specifically for this lead generation Twitter card. Then the from email is going to be uh, my email because this is the email that's going to be at the bottom when people receive any emails from me in this list because I actually put these subscribers into an automated workflow of emails which send drip fed messages to my to my contacts. Then the from name is going to be Daniel because that's my name and then you just need to put a reason why people have signed up there and then click save. Now this is where we need to find specific bits of information in the list so go to list fields and merge tags. This is where we're going to enter the pieces of content that we're going to gain when people sign up. So I want to capture their email address, their first name and their screen name which is their Twitter name. So type in email address, first name and screen name there exactly how I have and this will capture their email address, their first name and their screen name, their Twitter handle sorry. Now we go into form integrations here. This is a code, these two codes are really important. We really need to copy these and paste them into our Twitter card. So copy the first one. I press control and see there. And then where it says submit URL, that is where you put that link. Exactly how I've just done it. And then in this bit you put post in the HTTP method. Now we need to copy what the bits of information we've just written in the in the MailChimp list exactly how we've written them in this custom key area here custom key name so first name we put F name email screen name all one word and now we need to add a hidden field then trust me on this in here put ID this is what you need to do and then go back to the MailChimp list and copy the second code down here so copy this code then put it into the value field there. Trust me with this. <laughs> and then you need to um, name your Twitter card, just so you know within Twitter what's this card called. Again, I'm naming it the three-step Twitter formula download, so I know this is the Twitter card for, for that piece of content. And then click there, and then create card. Now what this will do is it will um, send you an email to the email linked to your Twitter account to check that it's working. So check your email, check you've got the email. If you do, then click yes, and this means it's working. Then click compose tweet. Now I'm going to show you exactly, once we've created this, how we tweet about it. So this link here is the link for the Twitter card. If you ever want to tweet this card out again, use this link here. So this is a tweet I'm creating now. I'm going to put a bit of text at the start to give people an idea of what they're signing up for. Learn how to supercharge your Twitter strategy now and I'm going to put download for free and it's including the link there to this specific Twitter card and I'll show you how this works in a second. So you can schedule the tweet. I'm just going to tweet it now. So I've just tweeted that Twitter card out. Click finish. Now I'm going to show you within Twitter what it looks like to show you that it's worked. So I just need to refresh my there it is. You see there it's got the download button, it's got the description and if I click download look it's drawn in my Twitter information, my email, my Twitter handle and I can click download now and that will sign me up and it will give me a link to the subscriber page where I can download the card, download the, the piece of content. Now we can actually go into our analytics um, and we can have a look at how the card performs. So obviously it wouldn't have had anything, anyone download it yet but you can go in here and you can analyze how many people are clicking on this card. And it's a great way to measure the performance, help you measure and improve the performance of your Twitter card. So we've got lots of different data in here you can look at. You can see how many people have downloaded the different types of cards you've created. And it can really help you, you know, learn and grow your Twitter card strategy. Thanks for watching the full tutorial guys. If you've got any questions at all, please leave me a question in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried this strategy? Have you created a Twitter card? Please do leave a comment below. Thanks again.